up guys safe game one here coming at you with a new type of video I'm gonna be doing a review of Aegis 2186 or is it 2186 or is it 2186 I don't know 2186 sounds pretty uh, pretty fluent and off the tongue and that sounds pretty nice but uh, I've been uh, I've been really wanting to review this game it's it looks it looks amazing and well, what can I say? This, this, who can love a game that has a random color theme? I just, for me, that's that, that sells the game already. I'm sold. I love, I love this little button. Look at it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump straight into the tutorial and uh, see what the game's about. I already know somewhat of what the game's about. Welcome to the training program. Please complete objectives to continue. Let's start with some basic orbital controls. Use the left and right arrow keys to rotate Aegis around Earth. Okay. Number two. Initial rotation is slow. You will need to think ahead. Now on to combat. Tap spacebar to fire bullets. Aegis can fire as fast as you can. Fire 10 bullets. Oh, what was that? Oh, so I can charge as well. That's cool. Well done. Shooting uses energy, which regenerates over time. Keep an eye on your energy bar. Now hold spacebar and charge a much larger bullet. Oh, I would have. Oh my god! Look how big you can make make it go. <laughs> if you use too much energy, it just will overheat. In the event that ships reach firing ranges, as there's a small regeneration regenerating shield, which will protect Earth for a moment. Okay. Uh, now get ready. To to submit an attack. Oh shit. Oh shit, the comment. What the? I don't know, I don't know what you'd call them. Because you can't just call them aliens in triangle ships, you know? Uh, that, that, that's, that'd be uh, a little weird. I'm going to charge a big ball. Charge a big ball! But yeah, like. I guess you could call them like a like a like a what are they like a Dorito? That's it. They look like a Dorito. If you get maybe if I change the colour, it'll look more like an actual Dorito. <laughs> Great job! You can also press Q to fire a cluster missile. They are, they are limited ammo and can only be gained from ammo drops. Because the incoming enemy using a missile. So how do you get more missiles? It says you can get more. And you can get health drops. Okay. Alright. When the formidable enemies will have a chance to drop power ups upon. Okay, so there's probably like some boss or something. Others, other than missiles and HP drops. There are also shields and energy drops. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you, even if you do get to 0% on your shield and when you're being overwhelmed, you can. Kill the big boss and get a temporary shield and more health. Okay, let's go like that. There was some shield and energy drop. I forgot that. Okay. And the top right is your Aegis level. As you kill ships, you will level up and increase in power, speed, and bullet size. Okay, that's cool. Aegis five is max. I wonder if anyone's actually made it to Aegis five yet. That'd be pretty cool. And the top left is the amount of time we have to survive. So far, every Second counts is, and if you want to last a long time, you will need to operate Aegis efficiently and not get full potential. Okay. Okay, your training is now complete. You are now ready. All right. First of all, first of all, let's pick the colours. Gotta gotta pick some colours, right? Uh, let's go for a. Uh, oh god! Oh yeah! Wow! You can go really. You can go literally so you can't even see the screen. <laughs> How light can you go? Oh, it just keeps going forever. Oh, this left side, okay. Well, obviously, because purple is my favourite colour, I'm going to go purple. And then for the enemy, what's the, where is it? Where's the colour? You know what colour I'm on about. Wrong way. We're going for it. That's like, there it is, there it is, there's the colour. Alright, I think we're ready to give it a go. Alright, let's see what we do then.
They totally look like Doritos. Where's the mountain do? I'm already being overwhelmed here. Already being overwhelmed on the first level. That's not good. I'm gonna use the big balls. Using the big balls. Oh no, we're taking the wrong way. No. Missiles. Missiles. Use the missiles. Okay, so for my first run, this is really not going very well. I wonder, I wonder if there's like a certain amount of RNG into this, because it seems to be coming from all different directions. It's not just like, you know, oh no, I'm not doing very well. They don't, they don't come from one specific way, it's just everywhere. And it seems the little ones take two shots at the moment to hit. So that's, that's not, I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of strategy into this game, it would seem. Especially with when, when you want to be charging your ball, when you want to be just tapping. Oh my god, what is that thing? Um, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm killing it. Oh, there's the power-ups. Okay, so there's the power-ups. So you, I guess I was right. There is a big mothership that you have to take out. That's cool though, because... Every game has to have a boss, don't they? You know? In this game, it's a big Dorito. In other games, it's a little different. <laughs> I'm definitely loving this game at the moment. It seems really fluid. There's, there's some, there is some sort of strategy into the game. Like you, you, don't, you really don't want to... Do not want to be losing that energy, otherwise you're basically dead. Like like, like right now, I'm, I'm I'm in pretty pretty big trouble here. Oh, big ball! Yeah, I think I think I'm think I'm dead here. Yeah, I'm dead here. No, oh, I take that. That was, that was a pretty good uh, a pretty good first run. So far, I'm definitely enjoying the game. The RNG is a little annoying because, you know, and then when you first start off, it's a little, it's a little, the movement's a little slow. So you really have to think what you're gonna do. Let's try it again. Let's, let's get another game. Let's go. You can you see how slow when you start off? It's so slow when you start off. Definitely some strategy into this. But I think I think I like doing this when you first start off is the tapping to kill the first ones. Trying to keep as much energy as I can, trying to hit as many as I can with, a, with each shot. So now now that I'm getting swarmed, I'll use a a bigger ball to try and kill as many as I can at a time. So now my shield, then I want to try and keep my shield up as much as I can. It's regenerating. The ship just appeared to regenerate pretty quickly. That's, that's pretty, oh god, I'm in trouble now. I totally just uh, over over here as I said I shouldn't. Yeah, when you this 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 first few levels seem to be pretty hard, just because you have so little energy. But as soon as, as, soon as you get the uh, as soon as you level up, that helps out so much. As soon as you level up, you get like a 100% energy. But even even with that, like, you see how quickly the energy goes down. Oh my god, they're swarming everywhere. Hi, oh, mothership. And I haven't got that much energy. Oh, rocket. Oh, oh I've got energy to shoot. I just used all my rockets already, that's bad. <laughs> I haven't even got level 3 yet. I wonder if anyone has actually made it to level 5, that'd be pretty impressive. It'd be very impressive to get that far. Oh, I'm 
getting spawned again. Now there's another ship coming as well. Using all my bloody energy again. Like, oh no, this is bad. Yeah, this is bad. I'm gonna kill as many as I can with this big one. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Trying to maximize killing the big things so you can get the power ups while trying to stay alive by killing the little things that are actually head attacking you. It's. I definitely I really enjoy the strategy in this game. I think this could go quite a long way. I was actually talking to one of the devs uh, and I actually played the game in alpha and it's come a long way. It used to be a table where you would pick your power ups but, and instead they've chose to scrap the table and make it just each mothership now gives power ups which I actually kind of like. It means that you either have to concentrate on the little things that are hitting you and then have the threat of the mothership coming closer and closer and closer or you take out the mothership as quick as you can to get the power-ups to then deal with the little things around you so yeah. definitely some good strategy it feels very very fluent there's nothing there's no problems with it i haven't encountered any bugs at the moment so uh if if you have the spare money to buy this game i would i definitely recommend it and just 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 to show one of my highest scores I ever got. That was that was one of the craziest runs I've ever done. And then there's the there's the devs. 205 up there. And somehow I don't even know how I did this. It was just an incredible run. It was just so much RNG went my way. When when as soon as you get to like these these sort of se seconds, it it there is so many ships coming towards you that you have to worry about but uh, yeah i definitely recommend this game especially this this oh, I, I love this thing i love this button more games need to introduce random color themes <laughs> but for just just for a game that you know you, you got a bit of time to burn like 15 to half minutes half an hour i definitely recommend this game 100 percent so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh catch you next time